Now, the East Anglian Club was founded in 1973, so this year is its Ruby anniversary. It's always promoted responsible ownership and showing the positive side of Staffordshire Bull Terriers. The display team goes all over the country, taking their stand along to various dog events. And this is the third time that they've been invited to perform at Crufts. And last year, you may remember, the special guest was Paul O'Grady. Now, if you have a look at the fifth from the back of the line, you'll see we have two handlers. The one on the inside, you may recognise this year's special guest, Ashley Butler. Unfortunately, Pudsey can't be here because he's out doing a book signing. He's been a little bit of a diva this year. But he sent a message and he said, do everything I've trained you to do, Ashley, and you'll be all right. She's actually walking around with Pudsey's best friend and she's going to be doing a little bit of work for us later with Ruby. Half the team are rescue dogs and the other half have come from responsible breeders. Some of them here have bred their own dogs. Unfortunately, overbreeding and irresponsible breeding and crossing of terriers mean that this type of dog is one of the most dumped dogs in rescue centres. But they are, in fact, one of only two breeds that are recommended for their suitability with children. You'll never have to bath your child again if you have a Stafford in the house. Right, the first runner is Millie with Kerry. They found each other at Battersea in 2005. Millie was then around one or two years old. Nothing more than Millie, that Millie likes to do than snuggle up on a chair for cuddles, but she is getting the hang of agility very, very well. Um, she patrols the woods behind to see if there's anybody there that shouldn't be, and she enjoys playing with her collie brother, Finn. Our second runner is Bacon. Bacon is nine and enjoys every moment of her action-packed life. She's reached grade seven in agility and has a gold agility warrant, which is the highest you can get. She's also a pack dog and away from this arena, she stars in TV and commercials and she's the Dogs Trust video dog. Next up, we have Belle. Until seven years ago, Angela had never owned a dog, despite her husband always wanting one. He wanted a Border Collie, she wanted a Stafford. You can see who won. She thought agility looked easy, but now she's not so sure. But apart from this, Belle also does well in the general shows. In fact, she had a reserve best in show last week, following on from a best in show she had earlier in the year. We now have Dakota. Sorry, I haven't got Dakota's paperwork. Oh, here we are. <laughs> Dakota's six years old and has been competing for four years. He's won the Staffordshire Bull Terrier Agility lead in, League in 2012 lives with Asbril, Avril and her husband Lee, another Stafford, a, another SBT, a Labrador and a Springer Spaniel, so quite a houseful. Right. We now have Tia. Tia is also six years old. Um, a little on the small side, but what she lacks in size, she makes up for in enthusiasm. She also has been doing agility for four years and she lives with three kids and three other dogs. Next up we have Marina. Yeah. 
hasn't really shown the last one. There we are. Marina came from a lovely breeder in Essex, and she is in fact a Dagenham girl. She is nine, very fit and athletic, and she lives with Skipper, Bowson and Mizzen. Sort of a nautical theme here, isn't there? She also lives with a Springer Spaniel. Her owner said she's not the sharpest knife in the drawer, but lovely to live with. Now we have Cassie. Cassie is five years old, has been doing agility for three years. Her kennel club name is Chaos in Action, which probably gives you some idea of her approach, as you've just seen. She's easily distracted, often leaving the course to search for fuss or a cuddle. She lives with three children, three other dogs, a border collie, a chihuahua cross, and she sleeps on her head. Right, Danny is four years old and was bred by Tina Walker, who should be supporting us somewhere in the crowd. Put your hand up, Tina. Can't see you, but we'll get you later. He's been competing for two years. He lives with Rachel's of the two Staffords in the Lake District. They spend most of their time together doing everything from agility and fly ball to canny cross. And fell running, what an energetic pair. And Rachel says Danny is an absolutely cracking dog. Billy. Right, Billy is five years old. He was bred by an experienced breeder. And he has given Di and Jim invaluable support through his life. He lives with Stan of Staffy Cross, who is a recent addition to the family, and a rather large cat. Billy has a very healthy respect for the cat because it is rather large. He's been doing agility for three years and really enjoys it. His favourite pastime is sleeping on a fur rug on his recliner. But he's not spoiled. Right, Rhea came to Simon and Kerry when she was just eight weeks old from Guildford Stafford Rescue. She's now three and has already reached grade six in agility. And she also has her agility warrant silver. She lives with five other dogs, three Staffords, a German Shepherd, and her best friend, an 11-month-old working Cocker Spaniel. She loves law racing and makes so much noise waiting for her to turn, it's impossible to queue with her. Right, Zach. Naomi is a member of the Young Kennel Club. She's Angela's daughter. And although Angela runs Belle in agility, it's Naomi who handles Belle at the shows. Having brought Zach as an eight-week-old pup, he started going out to obedience classes and then went on to train in agility. He isn't the fastest, nor the most motivated, but not really actually named. His name is Thunderbolt's Return. He's neither a Thunderbolt and he doesn't always return. His nickname is Dennis the Menace. I think you can probably see why. This one is Mouse. He's the fastest mouse you're going to see. He was bred by Joe and is the only Stafford ever to have won a junior warrant, an agility warrant, so that gives him the pet name of Juwawa. Last year, he also won a reserve challenge certificate. He's a male model and has appeared in ads for Bowden, Bench, and had a fleeting role in EastEnders. Though he may look tough, his pet name is Mr. Fuzzy Felt. And Frank is up next. He's eight years old. Rachel rescued him from Battersea Dogs and Cats. And he lives with an English Bull Terrier. When his mum goes on holiday, he stays with his nan and granddad and their two dogs. Frank works hard to promote the staff, is it? Battersea to say they're softer than you think. And he was our display member last year who appeared with Paul O'Grady. And now Ashley is going to run Ruby, who apparently is Pudsey's best friend as well as. Gemma being Ashley's best friend. Ashley obviously was the winner of Britain's Got Talent with Pudsey, and they both train together at Willingford Dog Training Club and often do pairs classes together. They both enjoy and love to wind each other up before they run. 
Pudsey has also taught Ruby a lot of tricks, and she now loves her work to music. At home, Ruby lives with Bentley, a puggle, and Gemma says Ruby is the most loyal and loving dog she's ever owned. Now we've got Squirt. Squirt was handed in to Battersea Cats and Dogs Home at nine months of age. Due to her becoming stressed in kennels, she was fostered by Ali Taylor, and of course she never went home, did she? Squirt now comes to work at Battersea and helps with education events, trying to promote responsible dog ownership. And she also visits the Trailsea pensioners. She's a bit of a diva, as you can see. But that is Squirt, and she lives with two chihuahuas and a Doberman. Right, next up is Naylor. She came to Simon and Kerry when she was eight weeks old, and she will be 11 in May, although she still thinks she's two. She's excelled in agility, reaching grade six before retirement at the end of last season. She loves doing obedience, but the thing they're most tr proud of is that she's been used to help several dogs with issues, as she is non-reactive and wants to be friends with everyone. Until last year, Naila was known as Princess at home, having developed selective hearing and a tendency not to do as she's told. She's now known as the Diva. Now we have Cleo, who's nearly five years old. She's lived with Kirsty and their other dogs, Rossi, a Lacerapso, Roxy, and a Staffordshire Bull Terrier, since she was 18 months old. Kirsty works night at a care home, but her true love is with the dogs, and she does walking during the day. Cleo spends most of her time helping to entertain the dogs as, th as they walk. They've been doing agility together for two years, and Cleo is currently at grade two. And her favorite thing is snuggling up on the sofa in the evening. Now, it's just going to be a slight delay while we lower the jump slightly because we have Staffy coming in. And Staffy is well past 11. But don't tell her I've told you that because she thinks she's two and a half. Safi has been competing in agility for nine years. She's never been the fastest of agility dogs, but always very consistent. Because of her age, she now only competes in veteran and any size classes, but she still enjoys herself. She lives with Lee and Avril and their three other dogs, including Dakota, who ran earlier. At home, she's a bit of a couch potato, and her favorite place is either lying in front of the fire or sunbathing in the garden in the sun. That's that big yellow thing we get in the sky a couple of days every year. And we should also offer to give congratulations to Lee and Avril who was running earlier because since the last Crufts they've got married. So many congratulations to both of you. Not bad for an old married man. Right now, we're going to have something slightly different. We're going to have pairs. A bit like flyball, they're going to race against each other. And we have two judges standing in the middle, Ashley and Ashley's aunt, whose name, I'm sorry, I don't know. Now, our judge is in place. Come on, cheer for, the, cheer for your favorites. Get them going. 
We have Bacon and Dakota racing this time. Oh, I think we've got a winner. And the winner is Dakota. And both of those dogs were bred by Joe. We now have Belle and Marina. So it's Belle on the far side, Marina on this side. Come on, cheer for them. See if you can get them going a bit faster. No, Belle, I didn't mean for you to cheer. So Marina is the winner of that pair. Next two coming in are Tia and Cassie. And this, this is going to be a grudge match because this is a husband and wife team. So this time, never mind the dogs, cheer for husband or wife. Come on, ladies, let's cheer the wife on. Remember what I said in the beginning about them being clowns? Oh, hello, let me try this bit. I like this bit. This is my favorite bit. Well done, Cassie, eventually. I think the husband needs a little more training. <laughs> we now have Danny and Rhea. Come on, a little bit of encouragement, please. Sorry, she was waiting for me to say she's going over the last jump and I didn't say it. She likes being a star in the arena. If you've got sandwiches on your knees, put them away now. She particularly likes chicken or tuna. And of course, she's gone to sit in the members' stand. I'm sorry, we had the wrong names out last time. This is Danny and Rhea. Come on, you've gone quiet again, ladies and gentlemen. The dogs get too serious if you're quiet. Come on, give them a cheer. <laughs> right, Danny has won that pair. Next up, we have Mouse and Ruby. Noise. 
Well, we've got the flying mouse on this side, haven't we? <laughs> ah. Ruby is the winner of that pair. And Ruby's only today, I understand, is celebrating her birthday. Shall we sing to her, ladies and gentlemen? Come on, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. Happy birthday to you. Right, now we have Billy and Zach. You, you need a good voice to work with these dogs. He looked round then as if to say, well, you didn't point to which one you wanted. <laughs> and that Zach was the winner of that pair. Next in, we have Frank and Squirt. Sounds like a pop group, doesn't it? And these are both Battersea dogs. So come on, we're running for the honor of Battersea, you two. Well, I think you lot can stay quiet now. The dogs are doing it for you. <laughs> and Frank is the winner of that pair. And the last pair coming in are Millie and Cleo. Sorry, I've been given the wrong information. This is the first of the runoffs. So this is Dakota and Marina, winners of two of the previous rounds. Oh, I wish I could bend like that. And that is Dakota. Now we have Tia and Cleo. A little more sedate than the dogs. Have you noticed when most of them are running, they've got this great big grin on their faces. They really do enjoy this. <laughs> and there's always one, isn't there? So Cleo is the winner of that pair. I just realized there was a bit of cheating going on earlier as well. When Avril was running Dakota, there was actually one and a half handlers. I think you can work out where the half is. She's, as my mother would have said, hiding it under her apron at the moment. Right, now we've got Danny and Ruby. And the winner of that pair is Ruby.
And now we have Zach and Frank. Yes, we know it's you. I think she's possibly telling the mother she should jump over the jumps as well. And the winner there is Zach. So we're now getting into the semi-finals and we have Dakota and Cleo. <clears throat> Cleo is a little bit precise. She likes to get it absolutely right and in her own time. <laughs> so Dakota has won the first semi-final. And the second semi-final will be between Zach and Ruby. Come on now, this is for a place in the final. <laughs> Never mind showing off to the audience. Come on, you're making up time. Come on, Ruby. Whoa! Pipped at the post quite literally. A grand national finish. So the final of today's competition, ladies and gentlemen, will be between Ruby and Dakota. Now this is the final, so let's make lots of noise. So we've got Dakota on the far side and Ruby on this side. Hey, come on. Come on, Ruby. Come on, Dakota. Come on, this is the final. Stop clowning. Well, there we are, the finalist in today's competition. The winner is Dakota. Well done, Dakota. Right, Ashley, would you like to come and have a word? Now, we know you've been asked lots of times, what did it feel like winning? So I'll ask you something different. What did Pudsey feel like when he won? I think he just wanted to sleep. He was just falling asleep. It was a long day for him, so. And often you run him al alongside Ruby at the Agility Club. Yeah, they're kind of like best of friends and um, they run, we do pairs together every now and again when I get time to do shows now. Um, but yeah, they, they run together. And something this audience didn't see, but I saw out there, you apparently got a dancing Stafford now. Kind of. <laughs> Ruby likes to do some tricks, so um, you never know. We could do a double out with Pudsey and Ruby maybe one day. Oh, I think we'd like to see that, wouldn't we, ladies and gentlemen? Yes, I think a dancing Stafford with Pudsey would be great. Well, thanks very much for coming and helping us out today, Ashley. It's been a privilege to meet you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Okay, the team are now saying goodbye to you. We hope you've enjoyed the demonstration. And if you'd like to come and meet these dogs or talk to any of the team members, we're going to be on the area behind this arena where the benches are set up. Please do come along and see us. We'd be very happy to meet you, and I'm sure the dogs would, especially if you've got sandwiches with you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.